Hi everyone, I'm Emily and I am a PhD student at Rochester Institute of Technology. On behalf of my co-authors, I'd like to present our paper titled Mapping Accessibility Assignments into Core Computer Science Topics, an empirical study with interviews and surveys of instructors and students. The ubiquity of technology in modern society underscores the importance of ensuring that they are accessible to all individuals. As technology evolves, so too must the education of future technology professionals. Currently in computer science education, accessibility is limited primarily to specialized courses, such as human-computer interaction, rather than being directly integrated into core CS curriculum. Furthermore, dedicated courses on accessibility risk being discontinued due to low enrollment. Thus, there is a need for including accessibility throughout the curriculum. One reason for this absence of accessibility is that teaching is dependent on the personal initiative of the course instructor. However, many of them do not feel comfortable teaching accessibility due to having limited knowledge in this area. Thus, there is a need to provide them with sufficient resources so that they feel supported in teaching accessibility. So this compartmentalization of courses, as well as this lack of instructor expertise, raise concerns about if students are adequately e equipped to incorporate accessibility into their future work as CS professionals. To tackle this issue, our research bridges the accessibility education gap in CS programs by pioneering an approach that, di that directly incorporates accessibility assignments into core computer science courses. We developed assignments that covered accessibility topics while ensuring that students still met the learning objectives. Several researchers on this project had extensive experience in accessibility and were also instructors of CS courses. So we went through an iterative process to design and develop these assignments. We started with examining an existing list of assignments and selecting possible candidates to infuse accessibility concepts. Then we brainstormed possible ideas and selected the concepts that had tools available for students to check their work, such as built-in screen readers. And then we tested these assignments in our own classes and made improvements, which included clarifying the instructions, adding more output examples, and making the complexity as well as the length adjustable. So there were three main assignments used in the study. The first one is the accessibility test analysis assignment, which focused on searching through an, an array list. So students looked at the results of different automated accessibility checkers and learned about the web content accessibility guidelines as well as assistive technology. The second assignment is the Braille translator with binary tree. And this focused on creating a digital Braille translator. So a typical assignment for binary trees would be to find the min or max of numbers, while our assignment introduced the concept of representing Braille encodings as paths within a binary tree. The third assignment is the Braille Translator with Dictionaries and Test Analysis, and this requires students to implement a Braille Translator capable of converting English sentences into Grade 2 Braille using dictionaries. Students also use the Turtle Graphics Library to draw six circles that corresponds to the six circles in a Braille character. For our data collection process, we met with instructors to, dis um, to discuss our project goals and customize the assignment before the term. And before the assignment was released, we did a virtual class visit where we introduced our research and administered a pre-survey to the students. And it was completely voluntary, and we ran a raffle to encourage participation. After the assignment was released, we sent an email to instructors to gather feedback about how they introduced the assignment and whether they covered any additional accessibility content. After the assignment was submitted, we sent another email to instructors to understand any questions or comments that the students had. And we also visited the class again to administer the post survey to the students. And the post survey contained similar questions as the pre survey so that we can compare the responses before and after the assignment. And after the assignment was graded, we asked instructors about the student grades as well as any other feedback about the assignment. And at the end of the term, we conducted semi-structured interviews with both instructors and students. So during the onboarding and meeting with instructors, we looked at the existing assignments and recommended which one could be removed and then replaced with one that we developed. And we also adapted the assignments so that they align more closely with their course objectives. So some adjustments include adding an activity um, to make a client program, removing an activity, 
and also adding unit tests for easier grading. So between September 2022 to April 2023, we ran the empirical study with eight course instructors, with an additional two who had previously participated in our pilot study. And for the student surveys, we discarded responses that only appeared in the pre-survey or only appeared in the post-survey, and we received a total of 249 matched student survey responses. And we also conducted 15 interviews with students. So first I will discuss our results from the instructor's perspective. So the instructors who participated in our study came from different institutions, including community college, liberal arts college, as well as both R1 and R2 universities. Their teaching experience ranged from 0.5 to 20 years. And it's important to note that five of them did not have any prior experience teaching accessibility related topics. Their experience teaching the assignment mainly fell into three categories. The first is preparation. To begin, most instructors completed the assignments themselves to become familiar with its mechanics and concepts. And other instructors also asked their lab TAs to complete it as well. In terms of the grades, the accessibility assignments were comparable to the original assignment that it replaced, showing that the CS learning objectives were still met. And most instructors indicated that they were willing to reuse the assignment in the future because they found value in using real world examples to teach technical skills, um, which are often applied to more toy examples or data sets. Regarding the class engagement with the assignments, instructors shared that students were more focused on the technical objectives, like completing assignments for a good grade, rather than accessibility concepts. However, three instructors who did have a background in accessibility tried additional strategies to emphasize the importance of accessibility, so for example, M2 and M3 posted videos about blind and low vision people, while M4 demo demoed a screen reader and mentioned that the students were really engaged during that demo. And although more than half the instructors had no prior experience teaching accessibility, all of them believed that accessibility belonged in the CS curriculum. However, some felt that including it in only one class might not create the mindset shift necessary for most students to actively consider accessibility in their future work. So for example, M7 mentioned that we need to have it embedded throughout the curriculum and valued by multiple faculty at each level. Next, I will present the survey and interviews with the students. Regarding students' confidence with accessibility knowledge, almost 40% of them felt fairly or completely confident that they could define accessibility in the post-survey compared to just 21% in the pre-survey. And over half of them were fairly or completely confident that they could give an example of an inclusive or accessible software design compared to 36%. And both of these were significantly different. And similarly, almost 60% were fairly or completely confident that they could give an example of how accessible or assistive technology is used by people with disabilities compared to 46%. For giving an example of a technological barrier, over 70% of students were already fairly or completely confident before the assignment, so the increase that we observed was not significant. For students who did the accessibility test analysis assignment, over 20% became somewhat familiar or more with accessibility guidelines compared to 8%. And for students who did the two braille assignments, almost half of them became somewhat familiar or more with digital braille compared to only 8% before. In terms of accessibility implementation, the percentage of students who were somewhat or more confident about designing or developing accessible technology doubled to 35% compared to 16% before. And similarly, almost half of the students became somewhat confident or more about being able to evaluate accessible or assistive technology after the assignment compared to 27% before. We did not observe any statistical differences for the future interest in accessibility, since we found that the responses were already generally positive prior to the assignment. So for instance, almost three quarters already agreed that they were interested to learn more about designing or developing technologies before their assignment. However, we did observe a slight increase in the percentage of students who agree that they are interested in pursuing a job or a career in accessible technology or related field after the assignment, and that was 28% compared to 22%. 
From the interview responses, we found that students felt the assignments gave meaning to abstract data structures and provided them with a new perspective on CS. So for example, a student mentioned that it gave them the idea that CS can actually be used to help people, as well as confidence that they can use the things they learned in a practical way. We also found that the impact of the assignment varied depending on students' prior exposure to accessibility. So students with limited prior knowledge mentioned that the assignments were eye-opening, while students with prior experience felt that the assignments made a lesser impact. So for example, one student said, these particular assignments didn't change a ton, but only because she had already wanted to do accessibility. And several students also noted a disconnect between their expectations of the assignment versus the goals of the actual assignment, because they wanted to be building assistive technology, but found that the assignments leaned towards teaching accessibility concepts. And this discrepancy was partly attributed to the fact that these courses were introductory in nature, which limited the depth of the hands-on accessibility tasks that we could include. And this um, limitation was also recognized by students, where one of them mentioned if it was about how they can actually implement it in the real world, maybe that might have been too much for them to handle. And because they're still in an introductory course, the assignments made sense in this context. So in summary, our research demonstrated that first, instructors can successfully adopt new computer science materials that are infused with accessibility content, regardless of their prior experience with accessibility. And second, students can effectively learn accessibility as a fundamental computing concept. Since the grades were reported to be comparable to previous assignments, which shows that our materials and our methods were effective in infusing accessibility without disrupting their knowledge about the core principles. So based on our findings, we provide some recommendations for integrating accessibility throughout the CS curriculum. We identified two main aspects that contributed to the success of our approach. So first, we added accessibility to core courses as a small chunk that does not require prior knowledge and is not too deep or too complex. And this chunking aspect was crucial for the ease of adoption by instructors as well as the ease of learning by students. And second, we added accessibility to the course by swapping an existing assignments rather than adding an extra one. Thus, the course load for both the instructors and the students remained the same with respect to grading and studying. So in conclusion, we'd like to mention that one key element of our approach was applying our own subject matter expertise to designing the assignments and working with instructors upfront to ensure a smooth integration. However, the accessibility integration approach we have devised is replicable and can be applied to map various learning objectives into different CS topics. So please check out a related paper published at SIXI for a list of those topics. Ultimately, our efforts aim to empower future technology professionals to design and develop technology that is accessible to all, thereby advancing a more inclusive world. Thank you for listening, and please feel free to check out the assignments that are available on our project website.